When most people think of prairie dogs, they think of black-tailed prairie dogs. These are commonly found in the grasslands of central United States. Utah prairie dogs have white tip tails and are only found in southern Utah. Unlike black-tailed prairie dogs, Utah prairie dogs live in small colonies of 20 to 60 animals. Each colony may be separated by only a mile or more than 10 miles. Family groups stay together within a colony, but young males will try to find other colonies so that they can mate and start their own family group. Utah prairie dogs are low on the food chain. They are eaten by badgers, foxes, coyotes, hawks, and eagles, and that's just to name a few of their predators. So, even though females can produce up to six babies each year, only about 25% of the spring population survives the summer and fall to the next spring. Utah prairie dogs like to live in easily tillable soil so that they can make extensive burrow systems for their colony. Unfortunately, humans like tillable soils too. This helps with growing alfalfa, wheat, and other crops. Historically, Utah prairie dogs were shot or poisoned to remove them from good farming areas. All this shooting and poisoning did the job. By the 1960s, U.S. scientists realized that without protection, the Utah prairie dog would go extinct. It is one of the first species to be put on the endangered species list when the Endangered Species Act was created. Currently, it is listed as threatened. Federal and state agencies have been trying to recover Utah prairie dogs for nearly 50 years. It's really hard work. Most of the best places to maintain prairie dog colonies are on private lands. These are the ones that are used for farming. Federal lands in southern Utah are often drier and rockier. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, the U.S. Forest Service, the Bureau of Land Management, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service work together to relocate Utah prairie dogs that are causing conflicts on private lands to federal lands, where they can be protected. The Utah Division of Wildlife Resources and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and many partners have spent the last three years creating a conservation plan that includes a model to identify the best available lands to conserve for prairie dog colonies. This will guide management and relocation in the future.